Hello everybody, this is your boy Nomis coming at y'all real quick with another video. This is just a quick little response to a very good YouTuber and DVE member, uh, the Choice Sports World, Morris Lewis. Uh, just saw his video. I got a chance to watch it today. And to a certain degree, I, I agree with what he's had to say overall. That this wasn't really a sexy win for the Lions like it should have been. But I think I can explain why it wasn't. Now, he says that we didn't run the ball. We kept attempting to run. Yeah, we do still attempt to run too much on first and 10 on any scenario. But to me, I think Amir Dula had like a little over 50 yards. And I think Theo Riddick even had some rushing yardage yesterday. Rumor. I don't know. Maybe it was another back. Who knows? Uh, I know the Lions overall rushed 12 or 100. That's what I, that's what I heard rumor has. I admit I didn't see the whole first half. I saw good portions. But I do know this. Cleveland at best in that game, and I'm just saying this out of respect for Cleveland because I know what they're going through as an organization as and their fan base is going through. Cleveland shouldn't have had 20 points. At the most, they should have had was at best 20 points, but at the best, my expectation for them was to be like 17 points. The reason why they even got 24 points is because you got to understand, y'all, they did, the Stafford did throw a pick to, I think, Jamie Collins. I might be wrong about this. Two, I think they had a real good field position because when Cleveland first draft, they threw a bit bomb to uh he threw a, Kaiser threw a bit bomb to Sammy Coates man, and we shut him down to three. I feel like because of that turnover we made, that might have gave them a little more breathing room. To actually, maybe uh because the way they came trying to come at us yesterday, they was coming at us with fire. They weren't about to play us easy, so I think they was able to just punch that in there in the end zone against us. So I think they was able to get one on us. We had our couple of turnovers too against them. We gotta remember. I feel like points-wise, the Lions did everything they were supposed to do. They were supposed to score over 30. I said I watered down to say 24 to 20 at one point. I said the game was going to be that close because I said I know the Lions can make things harder. But I feel like Man Beast is right when he says Lions sometimes play up to their competition, but they also play down to their competition. But I feel like the only reason why the Cleveland had it that close is because of that pick. And I know it's some people who feel like that may be unfair to Matthew Stafford. But at the end of the day, where he threw the pick or he was just picked off, that's the reason why they were able to score on offense again and give him an opportunity. And this time they cashed in and got a touchdown. Otherwise, if, they, if that pick didn't happen, who's to say maybe we wouldn't have scored either But because we were doing some bad play calling, like you said, uh, Detroit's worst world. But, uh... You know, the runs, I think our best run, running attacks came in the first half. I think in the second half, you're right, they tightened their defense up, and we shouldn't have tried to attempt it, except for a couple of times I felt we should have attempted a run, and it was like, I think it was the drive Ebron would score a touchdown. It was a second and two situation after a pass, and I felt that maybe they should have just handed the ball off up the middle. Instead, he tried to throw it, and his ball was batted down. By one of his one of the defense was it Miles Garrett or one of the time? But I know he had it was a few batted passes in that game uh, last night, especially in the second half. So I do know maybe they should have ran on second and two, and that's how I feel. You're right. They do use the use. I said this back in week one. I know Ace Taker can defend me on this. I said in Man Beast podcast before. I said maybe they should need to pass the ball to help set up the run so they don't become too obvious. I remember saying that in Man Beast podcast in the Arizona Cardinals game. And that's why I feel uh, I agree with you on that. And they, and they should. On second and two, they should have chose to run the ball in the second half right there. And I feel like they would have had success since they was a batted pass, and I think they end up converting on third down, which I believe might have been the touchdown play right there on third and two. I'm trying to see. Or was it the one Golden Tate did? Because it was a couple of situations where it was like second and short, Stafford tried to throw, and it was a batted ball. And I felt maybe we could have ran the ball on that one. We gave it to the doula. We could have get those extra two yards on the ground instead of having to throw on third down. And we could have a re-first down and then throw again. I feel like the Lions had the ability to run the ball, but it's their timing that's wrong. They have to, first of all, the backups that came in for Lang, I think they did a decent job. Corey Robinson, I know Brian Mahalik has been a surprise for us. Decker was flawless yesterday in his first game of the season. So if they get healthier on the offensive line, and I, if I'm right when I'm right, the Lions can maybe able to run up, maybe able to consistently run the ball. To me, the Lions don't have to necessarily get – my thing is always the Lions don't have to run the ball for 100 yards plus a game. They just need the situational run. They need they need they need to crawl before they walk. If they can at least just run the ball situationally, 
like Man Beast was saying in one of his recent podcasts, it can be a situational run team because that's what he was saying about man, uh, about the New England Patriots. They can just learn to run the ball situationally. Like if, if a dude can get them 90 yards a game, that would actually be good because the fact of the matter, Stafford isn't throwing as much. And, and then when he is throwing, he's converting and we're scoring touchdowns. So if you can miss it up and work your way into that and take pressure off the defense by running the ball, maybe our defense won't have to be out there so long. And, I again, I can agree, Dwayne wasn't sexy. But if you just take that interception back from Stafford, and I know some people may feel like, no, nah, that's not fair. I mean, a pick is a pick. I know he, he probably didn't throw it, but I feel like it was picked off. I had to see the play again. But, I mean, either way, at the end of the day, they, they might have good field position, man, and, and they was able to score. I told you, Cleveland on both sides of the ball, they was going to try to bring it to us, especially us. Because, you know, we the one team that everybody expected to give them their first win. I'm just more happy about that. But, you know, this is not no this video, Detroit Sports World. More is losing. You have a great channel. I just wanted to respond to that. Uh, I'm sorry I missed you at the game. I was there last night myself. Of course, I'll be there for the rest of the season. Uh, like I told you in your comment session, I think you already know what I'm talking about. And, um... Hopefully, I'll run into you soon if you come back again. And uh, if you feel like you have a response to this, what I had to say or whatever, you know, feel free. Hit me in the comment section. And anybody else that watched this video, thank you, everybody who watches this video. Please like and uh, subscribe to my channel, please. And please subscribe to Morris Lewis. If you haven't subscribed to Detroit Sports World, follow him on all social medias. And uh, thank you, everybody. And peace.